the name, the athlete, the man that is SVW. Physique, skill, strength. He was born to be the best. He is the phenomenon that is Sonny Bill Williams. If you want to scream, Sonny, can we cast your mind back to when you actually made the decision to come back to rugby league? Were you worried about the reaction you might get when you came back to the NRL? I didn't really think about, you know, all the things that would happen um, that I'd have to go through coming back here, you know. Uh, all the, I guess, all the hype and all the, you know, all that kind of jazz. But as I got closer, I started to, um, you know, get a little bit scared, get a little, a little bit nervous. But just coming back after five years without playing, you know, into one of the toughest sports, I, I believe, in the world. I guess um, I didn't really take all that into account. Can I ask why the Roosters? Why, why was that the club you chose? When I was 18 at the, at the Doggies, um, I might have even been 17, um, Nick made a play for me to come here. So he was always there in the picture, kind of wanted me to come here and then whenever I'd see him and that, you know, take the time out and have a good, good talk and see how you go and ask how the family is kind of thing. You know, he just said if, you know, you ever come back, um, you come back to the Roosters. Williams, Williams inside 30, gave it away and Pierce, Mitchell Pierce scores, another Roosters try. It's been good for, for everyone's confidence, you know, having, having him in the sheds and, and playing next to him. So sort of that, that sort of player where um, makes you feel feel more confident going on the field. You know, for, for I suppose, a superstar, there's, there's not a whole lot of ego about him at all. He's a really gentle guy. He's, he's a great bloke. He, he's, he's easy to get on with, and, mate, it's, yeah, it's been unreal playing with him. Stunning news in rugby league. Sonny Bill Williams has tonight walked out on the Bulldogs. When you're away from the game, do you reflect back on those days at the Bulldogs and your decision to leave at that time? I wish I could go back, Gus, and have the head that I have on on my shoulders right now. I guess when I think about it, I, I was just young, stubborn, angry at the world and thought everything was against me. Um, but now I know that I'm just, you know, the world's so big and um, there's so much more in it than just footy, you know what I mean? So if I put you in a time tunnel and I take you back yeah. in time to that moment, and there you are sitting at that table where you decide, I'm going, I'm yeah. going to walk out, what would you say to yourself? Now, oh, it wouldn't definitely wouldn't happen the way it did. You know, I would have gone to the hierarchy, and sat down, said, you know, asked for release, um, and spoke to the boys, told them how I was feeling. I'm sensing a little bit of sorry in there. Like I'm... Yeah, there is, mate. There is um, definitely sorry for my actions just taking off like that. I can't change what happened, you know. Uh, although I'd love to, I can't change what happened. And um, I can sit here and say sorry every day of the week. Um, and it still won't change what happened, you know. My name will always be tarnished because of that, but that won't change who I'm gonna, you know, who I wake up to be today or tomorrow, or what kind of family person I am, or what kind of man I am, you know, um, moving into the future, I guess. You would expect one of the biggest names in our game to be leading the fast life. But as always, Sonny Bill stays true to himself and lives a quiet life out in the southern suburbs as far away from the spotlight as possible. Humble and content, building a home with the most important people in his life, his family. How many people live here? Yeah, there's a fair few live here. Um, it's my nephew, Malik. He's gonna be a football player, a star one day. Um, but yeah, my old man, his partner, my brother, his wife, this fella, my sister, Wow. Um, her partner, their new one. So family's important. Yeah, definitely, mate. Um, yeah, it's the first time I've really done an interview in my family house, but uh, yeah, nah, this is, you know, when I'm out on the field, I'm pretty comfortable, and then when I'm here too, so this is my life. Um, and this is where I'm most happiest. This is where you sneak away to, to get away from it. Yeah. If not in the eastern suburbs, though, is it? No. Nah, brother, I'm not out there. The troops are here. This is my old man, he's trying to sneak off. Hi, mate. Hello, mate. How are you? It's my old man, John. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, good on you. Thank you.
And that's my other beautiful niece. Hello. Tatum Lee. Hello. Hello. Kissy? Kissy? Oh, yeah. Kissy, my Oh, yeah. That's made in a day, that one. <laughs> But when we found out you were coming around, Gus, we decided to have a barbecue for you, mate, you know? Oh, beautiful. Lovely. What we do, brother? Well, what a pleasure to be invited into your home. Oh, it's good to, to have you. It'll be lovely. My old man didn't say it, but he's a big fan of yours, mate. He's a rooster's man through and through. Is he? The old rooster does. Yeah. 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 Good. I forgot me Penrith contracts. Will I go and get one out of the car? <laughs> no? No chance? Maybe for this young fella, eh? No, oh, well, we'll get him signed up very early. A little scholarship would be nice. <laughs> Yummy. Thank you. And you like this environment rather than the bright lights of stardom and being yeah. in the media and all that sort of thing. This is where you feel most comfortable. Yeah, definitely. I love being around, like you know, my nephew and my nieces. And just, I just love seeing my family happy. Do your brother, you play sport? Your brothers? Were you involved in sport at any time? Uh, we played together in the younger grades. He suddenly played up in our age group and that. Okay. Johnny was the better player. Was he? When we were young, it's the hands down truth. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you'd like me saying it, but he got caught up in the wrong crowd and that, you know, um, growing up. And it's tough because I know that he could have made it easily instead of me. But, um, you know, him going down kind of the wrong path, um, I kind of seen that as me keeping me on the straight path. And when we were young, the old man used to send us sort of runs around the mountain and um, he used to always G me up, calling, you're going to beat your brother today and that, you know. And he, I remember one time. I found out the shortcut on the mountain, so I beat him. It was the, one of the happiest days of, <laughs> of my younger life. So. What has the Muslim faith done for you? What's it given you most? Uh, happiness. Hmm? Happiness. Um, you know, I know. You know, I'm not, I, I, I don't go around. I won't go around preaching or anything like that because you know, I just it's it's something that I just it's with me. What it's done for me on my inside, you know, I, I, I can't really explain, but it's just. Obviously, you know, you know, it's helped with my footy because you know I don't drink or anything like that anymore. And I try to live, live a, a lot cleaner lifestyle um, and things like that. But essentially, it's just made me a lot happier. I spoke to Roosters chairman Nick Politis, um, the person I've known for a long time, and he described you as one of the best people he'd ever met in his life. Kind, generous, professional, determined. Uh, he said, I haven't really met anyone quite like Sonny Bill Williams. It's quite a rap. It is. It is. Um, I'm, I'm pretty shy, you know, and I just if, try and just get across that, you know, I'm, I am who I am, you know what I mean, and just try and be a good bloke. Um, and then let them make up their minds. Because I know that, you know, because of what happened when I left, the, when I left Canterbury, a lot of people got there mind's made up about me, you know, so I have to kind of work double, double hard just to, you know, get across who I really am, so, um, but, you know, it's, I say it's, it's a big rap, but um, it's nice to, you know, have people thinking like that of you. Hey, little pate, ma, Melly, Melly. Growing up, did you know he was always going to do this, that he was going to be something special? Well, <laughs> at school he was like a scrawny little stick, <laughs> but he was the like he was one of like the fastest. You know, he did cross country, athletics, everything. Like I'm so privileged to be his sister, and, and you know, be when people ask you, "Are you Sonny Bull's sister?" You know, you get shy, but you you also get like overwhelmed because you're like, yeah, you know, you feel proud. Today we're off to training, uh, not just a normal day today, pretty special day uh, because um, the charity that I have supported for a while now, the Violet Foundation, uh, Manager Cockle Awareness, uh, they're coming down to training, it'd be pretty cool for them to come down and uh, mingle with, with the players and get some photos and uh, things signed from the boys. I've been uh, with the Violet Foundation Manager Cockle Awareness for since I was 18, so it's over 10 years, I think. When you do things like this or help out charities and things like that, I don't like um, putting it out there too much because it defeats the purpose, I, I believe. Um, but um, you know, I've been with them for 10 years, so it's you know, it's not just um, some that's 
you know, spare of the moment, you know, I've, it's something that, you know, is, um, is pretty special to me, you know, so it'd be pretty cool for them to meet the boys. I got contracted with my manager Kaku when I was 10 months old and my joints on my legs, I think they were really damaged. That's why I'm like this now. This is Michael, boys. Hey, Michael. Hey, Michael. I had the pleasure of meeting Sonny when he was 18. He is, he's just still the same person. He's respectful, he's quiet, he's polite. The persona you see on the football field is, is not indicative of, of who he is and as a person. I, I don't know that Sonny Bill Williams realises he's himself how high his profile is. Uh, he's a very, very nice young man. I'm going to have a 21st party. Oh, you're going to have a big 21st, eh? Yeah. You make sure you let me know. You tell Cole to let me know so I can come. Okay. You know, just seeing some of the kids in it, you know, um, Daniela, you know, I was, she's 20 now, so when I first met her, she was eight. Just see that um, her become a, a young lady, you know, and see how happy she is in life when, you know, obviously things um, aren't probably the best for her in some, sometimes. Um, it's cool, you know, it's uplifting. I'll see you soon, eh? Mm -hmm. Remember my invite for your 21st? Yeah. Right, sis? <laughs> you got that upper body strength there, Klaus. <laughs> hey? <laughs> nah, see ya, bro. Talk to you soon, okay? Thanks, mate. Bye, bro. See ya. See ya. See ya, bro. We played on Friday night. Uh, it is now Monday. They've given us the morning off. Because I'm an old man these days, I need to come down here. Do my extras, it's a nice little spot, hardly anyone's here, so we we'll usually come down here game days or recovery days and things like that. So gotta keep the old body in shape. People are dying to know what Sonny Bill Williams is gonna be doing next year and even in the next three or four years. What, what sort of answer have you got in your mind at the moment? I'll just be honest, Gus, you know, that's all I can be. I'm torn in two directions, you know. I'm going to make, try and make the decision as soon as I can, as soon as the season's finished. Um, I'm going to sit down and then I'll think about it uh, long and hard. Uh, but at this stage right now, um, I've just figured that I've got to put all my energy um, into the Roosters. If the Roosters win this Premiership, will it make it easier or harder to leave? Will, if they win it, will you feel like I've done my job, I can move on? Or if they lose it, gee whiz, I better stay and hope to try and win them one. Is it? Is that going to factor into it, do you think? Of course, Gus. All of that kind of stuff will. So that's why I can't really have, I don't really have a definite answer right now, you know. I want to be successful, you know. I want the team that I'm in to win. I want to you know, do a lot of things like a lot of other players want to do, you know. And the Roosters are the minor premiers. 24 to 12, they win. Yep. Where's Sonny Bill in 10 years' time? What's he doing? Uh, with my family. Hopefully, you know, have my own little family of my own and just be concentrating on my kids. Um, you know, when I finish playing and then I'm not going to... I'm not going to be chasing the limelight and, and this and that. I'll, uh, I'll settle for, for just, uh, uh, God willing, raising my kids to be good, good kids and still being the favourite uncle that I am at the moment. And uh, somewhere happy, but with my family. Well, a long and happy life to you all. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thanks, brother.